I pursued boxing because I was such a little shrimp and such a non-athlete. My brother Roger and Kenny were just, you know, basketball players and football players and track stars. And one day my brother Roger uh, encouraged me to go to Palmer Park Recreation Center to participate in boxing. I did that. And from 1970 to where we are today, boxing became a part of my life. I've told people all over the world that Bruce Lee was one of my idols, uh, mainly because of his of his mental stability, because of his fighting spirit, because it was more it was more mental than just physical. For him, it was like what he called emotional content. And for me, that's when I succeeded. When I had to face major obstacles and major opponents like Tommy Hearns, Roberto Duran, Marvin Hagler, because of my mental stability, I was able to beat those guys. Without question, Bruce Lee uh, relates to athletes of all kind, of every kind, because it's all about having everything in sync to perform at the, at the, uh, at the highest. Uh, it all ties in together. I tell these boxers today on The Contender that you must, your mind and your body and your spirit must all connect to get the best results. Bruce was an example of what materialized from hard work and there were no boundaries, there was no racial barriers, there was nothing. People saw Bruce Lee as a, a major force, a positive force, and um, he was special. Well, that was the most amazing thing about Bruce was the fact that he could generate so much speed and velocity in his punches, um, short punches that he used his body and, his, and his, um, the type of leverage he was able to gain because he knew, he understood the mechanics of the body. That was special. What impressed me the most about Bruce was his, his smoothness. I mean, he was gliding, he would glide, and it was not, he was not methodical. He was very um, spontaneous in his movement. And everything he did was for a reason. He just didn't move to just be cute. He moved for a reason, to get in line, to get in position, to throw something, to position himself. Everything was for a reason. Bruce Lee um, had charisma. He had, that, he had that package. He could fight. He was versatile. He was smart. He was deadly. Um, and he seemed um, like he was the least guy uh, that could defend himself. But he had such an ability to outperform anyone. No matter what size, he could all, no matter how strong, Bruce Lee always had a way. And he did it with style. And that's what, I love that. He did it with style. Well, only Bruce Lee could really perform and execute the type, the type of punches he threw. The power, the speed, the accuracy that he threw, his punches. Um, you know, I, I have not seen too many uh, other martial artists in, in that league I love Jackie Chan, um, uh, I love uh, Jet Li, I mean those, those guys remind me a great deal of, of Bruce Lee. I don't think of anyone that reaches that level. Bruce Lee is an icon, he is, you know, in the dictionary, you say greatest, you say Bruce Lee, that's the way it is. He was, he stood, he was second to none, he stood, he stood out from the rest. What makes Bruce stand out is because of his charisma, is because he is so accurate, so powerful, and he's so smart, and he had that, he had that, um, that mental stability that, that very few people can reach and, and maintain to compete at the highest level.